What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Juggle972, back here. And when we last left off, the princess had vanished. So, let's go looking for her, shall we? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what I was doing. I was uh, hoarding shelters. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's get out of this goddamn forest real quick. I did a little bit of grinding whenever I was off screen, too. So, and just enough, you know what I need. Because, hold on. Before I do that, hold on. Let me go sell a couple of these shelters real quick, though, because I don't need much, but it always helps to have just a little bit of cheddar. 450. A pea shooter. A uh, bronze helmet. Definitely need one of those, and... Oh, yeah, definitely need to be able to revive, too. A couple of these. Oh, look at that, another shelter. <laughs> Alright, to the west we go, the west we go. Manolia Cathedral. I think they still call it Menorah Cathedral. We pray for a piece of our world. We are ever so devout. <laughs> still creepy as always. Oh, great lord and master, deliver your judgment upon the weak and underserving. That we might reclaim the future for ourselves in your name. Oh, how delicious. <clears throat> I mean, <clears throat> del delightful looking you are. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> I didn't mean to shock you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, little old Spencer, you know, he wants a little bit of attention, too. Mm. Alrighty. What did I find? A hairpin. King Garden's roll crest. Uh oh. Here. Oh no. I got two ginger cats over here and uh, I got four Naga Eds that I gotta take out. Hang on. Take these girls out real quick. Fire world it is. Flamethrower and sword. Two. Three. <laughs> Slow us down with a kiss. Uh. Looks like I'm covered in like a just like white ooze, white ooziness. You know, whatever you came from though, it's probably you know from this uh, social distancing that we have to do. But then again, this is the year 600, so God only knows you know we only had the bubonic plague back, most likely not just back then. But, Whew. wasn't expecting that. Oh, look at that! There's another one. Ah. Ah. Lower your guard, and you will allow the enemy in. You come to save the queen? The fiend's lair lies within. It would seem. Will you accompany me? It's a giant talking frog. Yeah, you know she can't stand frogs. Huh. I suppose I'd not expect you to trust me, looking as I do. Very well, do as you please. But I must save Queen Lee. Wait. You don't seem like a bad frog. I mean, person. Uh, uh. You know what? Let's go with the frog. How about that? Get over here now, my slimy herb, moist skinned creatures. And girls hate that term, moist. <laughs> so, what's your name? You know what? Yes. Glenn will suffice, because that is his real name. Nice to meet you, Glenn. And you as well. This room must conceal a hidden passage. Let us uh, search every corner. Bring the sword down, not the hammer down. <sighs> Deep within the lair we go. Oh, I love this music. And to hell with the girl. And to hell with the gargoyles, we did. Needing water and potion. Okay, let's see. Slurp. <laughs> Slurp. Not to worry about these guys here. Alrighty. Yeah, there's gonna be a ton of them over here. I guess you know some of these fights you really can't avoid though, so. Ooh, more snakes, huh? Hang on. Show me what you're working with. A 
a pea shooter too. Oh yeah, look at that. Take these guys out real quick. Cause we got a couple of people hanging around here. A couple of these little fiends over here just hanging around looking like humans too. You know, come to think of it though, I haven't even upgraded a. I have not even upgraded a Lucas equipment either. He's got everything that he needs. Yep, she needs the pea shooter. Yeah, I still got Chrono working with the wood sword. What is wrong with me? I should have already updated him now. <laughs> What's with all the disguises? Hurry up and change. I don't be I need to be walking around looking like humans in here. Weren't so bad. Two soldiers look plump and juicy. Gawker's a genius. Just plan to imprison the chancellor and take on the roof. Why do they sound... When I, when I do these voices, why do they sound like, you know, they're talking like this, you know what I mean? <laughs> In the first place. Let's see. Hmm, a couple of disguises in here. 100G and an ether. I'm going to be here to come. I'm sure Yaka will be pleased. Pass the time here until he has a chance to come by to greet you properly. Master this place, Yakra was so very kind. I decided to stay here and make yourselves at home, too. Oh, you did? Mm, that's good to know. Don't be in such a hurry to leave. Please take time and enjoy yourselves with us. <laughs> oh, the disguises. You gotta love them, don't you? There we go. Mm, fire roll these guys out of here real quick. And uh, don't mind the uh, noise in the back, though. That's just my AC unit gun. Keeping us cool in here, though, because it is kind of, you know, insulated. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, it's kind of insulated here, so you might as well keep fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting. Alrighty. Ronald's level's increased. Yeah, I definitely should have picked up a, a silver sword. Made a little bit of money make up to buy a silver sword, too, but. You know what? I've been in this game, you know, so many times, so I can only imagine how much different this uh, version is. Fight these guys off real quick. Oh yeah! Ha! <laughs> Intruders, huh? Okay, this fight we can escape. Alrighty. I yeah, learned a dual tech here too, so... Uh, alrighty. Hang on. That should have gone to the other side though, taking care of this. Straight up tooken, dog! Straight up tooken! Take the knock... So obtain the hit and I get Brahmide. Uh oh. Hey, humans are in here. <laughs> Try to steal a Brahmide, would you? Or however the fuck you pronounce it. Get him! Take care of these guys real quick. Eh, hey, get him, huh? Yeah. Don't you get me started, okay? Don't even fucking get me started. Don't even fucking get me started there, you hear me? Don't even. Don't not even get me started. How about that, huh? Huh? Alrighty. Take these guys out real quick. A couple of other things here. A maiden suit, ether, and a potion. Yeah, she's definitely gonna need a uh, maiden suit. And who always who's who doesn't need a potion, right? Take care of these real quick. Hang on. A steel saber. Yes! Definitely needed more equipment. Alrighty. You're humans. I've hit the queen in the back. Please rescue her. Somewhere within this complex is a shrine to the fiend lord. I heard there's treasures to be found there as well. You know, I know what they're talking about, though. I don't remember exactly where it's at. You know, I've played this game so many times, though, and I've only uh, maybe remember it just a few times. Unless it be, you know, for one of these rooms that I've already been into, then maybe. But... Ah, hang on, let me take care of these guys real quick. Boom, and there's more. Okay, you know what? This will be this will be worth it. Uh, this will be worth it real quick. Hang on. Give Chrono an ether real quick. Make use of uh, some whirling of fire. If how about that? Man, if this game was remade though, man, I can only imagine how awesome that would look. Definitely look like a fucking uh, Link, you know, doing the uh, fire sword spin too. 
Anna from Ocarina of Time. Alrighty, here we go. Oh, look, a save point. Inventory. Use our last shelter, how about that? Sort that out. You know, it's also a good idea to save. Good idea to save, too, so... Can't go in there just yet, but... Let's see. Oh, we've got another shelter. We won't wake him up. I think we're good. Hmm. Bats. Press this button, and more bats appear. More experience points, and more tech points, actually, to be honest. <laughs> Love that sound. Alrighty. Take care of these little little bats. Hit him with a hammer. Yeah, hit him with your father's hammer, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Don't miss. Seriously? There you go. Way to go, Glenn. Handle business. How about that? Handle business that way. Alrighty. Some bats here. Obtained a potion and a panakia. Alright. Take that down. Might as well make our way back over here. Oh, look at that. Oh, slides down the... Take these boys down. Done here. Now I'll go to the middle room. Alrighty. Three hinges and two gargoyles. This will be easy pickings if you ask me. Easy pickings. There we go. Slurp slash. You know, I like the original name Slurp Cut better than Slurp Slash, honestly, because if you ask me, though, it just sounds awesome. Cut. I got cut you, huh? Alrighty. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Hypno Wave. Okay. An Iron Sword. And this right here is for Glenn to have. Sorry, but the Iron Age would just totally just eliminate the Bronze Age. It's just, it's just truth. You know, we're fine here. Go sliding down. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I need to play the... I need to play the goddamn <laughs> organs. Alrighty. Play the organs again. Alright, now we go back. There we go. Alrighty, hold on. Come on, come on, come on. Uh... I think we walked into the wrong neighborhood here. <laughs> oh, come on, you gotta, just, you gotta try to charm us by slowing us down. Probably shouldn't do that, dude. You probably shouldn't do that. Well, it looks like we're having snake meat. Or half snake, half... Not naga et meat, how about that? I think we're gonna call it naga et meat. Finish these guys off real quick. Alrighty. Two more here. Take care of these guys. These guys are down too. Inventory. You know what? I got two strength capsules here. No, we'll even them out. Use our shelter. Because we have a boss fight coming up.
Save here. Prepare yourself, Queen Lean. It is time for you to bid farewell to this world. <laughs> yeah, sounds more like an old man. How did you get in here? Hmm. Flee, Your Majesty. We shall dispatch of this fiend. Do it in Thor's voice. If we must. <laughs> There's no use in fighting. Never you will leave this place alive. Intolerable frog. Let us see you hop your way out of this. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Allergy season. Yeah, well, it smells like a yakker in here, too, so. Take this fucker out. The Chancellor transformed into Yakra. Take this fucker out real quick. Now this guy ain't too tough. Yeah, he does that a lot. Hang on. You know what? We'll do this this way. We're gonna extract him real quick. And we'll give him a flamethrower shot too. Burn him down. Burn him, motherfucker. <laughs> Need a launching attack. Hello. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, yeah, coffee. Def Coffee's a must, too. Mm -hmm. You know, since we've been in the middle of this, uh, ep this little pandemic, uh, coffee has been a necessity. It has been our water. No sh... Because I shoot you now whenever I say that, though. It has been our water in a lot of ways. Yeah. Give him an extract from here. Too close to counterattack. Even better. So I might as well just try, you know, make little, uh, make little shockwaves there, too. Too close to counterattack, huh? Wait, wait, wait. Needle spin attack, huh? You know what, Luca? You will heal... Chrono and X Dragon Boys. There we go. Okay, Luca. You need to stay alive too because you need to heal everybody else as well. Oh, yeah, that wasn't too hard. Bye, motherfucker! Uh, now that he's done. Experience points. Come to rescue me. Oh, yeah. His Majesty awaits most anxiously. We should return to the castle. I thank you, Chrono, Luke, and Luca, for all of your aid. And I as well. Please come to the castle. You'll be most welcome guests. For sure. Oh yeah. Hey, don't forget a meat ether and uh, <laughs> the real chancellor. Let's not leave him here too. Uh, real master, I'm in damage as you see. Let's be on our way. Yes. Let us be on our way. Shall we do that? So to see. That vile beast impersonating kidnapping the queen. We must institute a stricter criminal justice system in this kingdom to ensure such fiends never threaten the royal family's safety again. I am disgraced. I failed to protect my queen. He took a little too hard on himself there, don't you think? Let's go speak to him real quick. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It was my presence here that endangered the queen. I can remain at this castle no more. Oh, and Proto, you've made it. You've the makings of a great swordsman. Aww. 
Maybe far eggs aren't so bad at all. They're really not. The French love eating them. And snails too. I don't get what that. I don't get what the deal that is. Huh? I, I would try it. Ugh. That's all on you. I'll be there for the, with the puke bucket, and hopefully you don't puke. <laughs> I wonder if it's a lot more Maybe. Deepest oh. gratitude, Lord Chrono, but I wonder. Who was that girl we found in the canyon? Wait, it, you found her in a canyon? You found... You, f you found Nadia in a canyon? Huh. Unless there's something else I'm, I'm think I think I'm missing though because I think that may have no it won't connect uh, that has connected to Chrono Cross it really doesn't hang on let's go back up here real quick and then oh look who's back back again Nadia in one piece she's like what the fuck just happened so afraid couldn't see or feel anything but I knew it was someplace cold. I wonder if that's what it's like to die. Your Highness, I... Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> came to help me, too. Wait, Your Highness? Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, we kind of figured you out. I mean, if I was the President's daughter, I wouldn't want to, you know, be known that. Then again, I probably would. Her real name is Nadia. That's what I named you. Her father's King Guardia the 33rd. Fair and have fun, everyone else, but you know what really was. Sure, I would have showed her around. Yes, she is. So let's go see how much you look like her. Alrighty, let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Let's see. You must be the real Queen Lean. <laughs> My really could be twins. Because you get along with the queen now, or you hear, or I'll get angry. Actually, I wouldn't be able to do that, would I? <laughs> yeah, never mind. Uh, I wish you all the best. Okay. Now, back to Truce Canyon we go. Here we go. It shall be a long trek, but not too long of a trek. I mean, we do know our way back, too. Making our way... Making our way down back! Do, 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 do. Let's see... I'm gonna sell this mid either. I don't need it, though, but I definitely do need the gold. You know, some Athenian water is definitely much needed. Eh, what the hell, then I'll buy three shelters. Definitely need a bronze helmet and a padded vest for her. Sorry, you know, I should have bought a bronze blade. That's what I should have did. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Definitely should have brought the bronze blade before I went into Yakrazak uh, Castle. Shelter it up real quick. Ooh, yeah. Let's make our way back to Truce Canyon. Hello, Greener. And, uh, what do we got here? Ooh! He's a copper. Take care of him. <laughs> Start to scratch, deep, scratch yourself a little bit deep there. How about that? Yeah, he loves a counterattack. Take out these green imps too. Or green imp. That'll do it in. How do we get home? Your Highness will... Uh, uh. Of course, yeah. No, no, no formalities. No formalities. Uh, Luca. Yes! Look at that. <laughs> Should be more humble in front of... But not for right, I'm a prince, but... I can't believe this is supposed to be incredible. For your genius in a heartbeat. Well, if you say so. Anyway, I call these distortions gates. They're basically portals in the same location at a different time. 
gates are unstable, that's why they appear and disappear all the time, so I use the principle behind my tele telepod device and to create this gate key. So it's locking the gate in place. Why did the gate suddenly appear in the first place? Either the telepod has something to do with it, or something else made it. Hmm. It's a little bit, though. I don't know, uh... I don't math good either, though, so it's probably a good idea to not math good to listen to that. And back to the fair. We are back in the year 1000. Yes, we made it. Came back to the castle. You know, let's go escort her real quick, but you know what? Every good, uh... Yes, I shall be a gentleman, but you know what? I'm gonna be a gentleman to take her to my place first. Because, you know, she's gotta meet Mama. <laughs> she's gotta meet Mama, everybody. She's gotta be like Donna Bravo, baby. You gotta meet Mama. The first woman in the world. The first woman in any uh, man's life, uh, I gotta say there, baby. <laughs> Hang on. I always like these little interactions, too, with, when you first uh, meet... Uh, introduce your, uh, your mom to your party members, too. This isn't a price surprise. I've never <laughs> seen you bring any girls around except for Luca, who's the pretty new friend. Nadia, nice to meet you. What'd you say? Have we met somewhere before? I swear I could recognize you. Perhaps just my imagination. Oh, hello, Chrome. And hey, kitty, kitty. Okay, and two. Wait, hold on. Let's go to uh, Luca's house real quick and see what she's got going on. Reduce the form factor of the bipedal robot to compromise the balance is tougher than I thought. Yes, I shall escort her. Guardia Forest. In the present. It's much lighter. And these monsters are a little bit weaker too, so. You know what? I, I, I ain't got no time to deal with you. Oh, oh! What the hell? What are these called? Animantia. Well, they're mushrooms. So. Take these out real quick. Let's see what Nadia can do. <laughs> Get trampled by a mushroom? <laughs> There's a sexual innuendo to go with it to be trampled by a mushroom. <clears throat> with a tall stock. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's go to the castle. And in the next episode, we shall go to Cardia Castle and escort Marley home. Much love, peace, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!